I'm going to show you a simple, inexpensive engine maintenance that's often overlooked, but it can help prolong the life of your engine. And all it takes is just a few minutes of your time, a 19 millimeter deep well socket, and maybe a pair of pliers. If you own a Toyota 4Runner, FJ Cruiser, or Tacoma, and want to learn more about maintenance and modifications, our channel can help you with all that. The inside or crankcase of any internal combustion engine has to have the ability to breathe. Good clean air in and pressure and vapors out. All engines, yes, even Toyotas, have some blow by past the piston rings. These combustion gases go down into the crankcase. This can cause sludge buildup, deteriorate the engine's oil, and cause internal pressure. That vent air gets into the engine on the right side through a tube connected to the air cleaner assembly, then directly down into the engine. The air then gets sucked out on the left side through a tube that leads up to the intake manifold downstream from the throttle body. Where it exits the engine on this side is a little valve called a PCV, positive crankcase ventilation. This is what we're gonna be replacing. To make it a little bit easier to get to, I'm going to release this clip on this bracket holding the heater hoses, and I'll be able to move those out of the way a little bit. It'll give us a little bit more room. Now there's a little spring clamp right here. Squeeze these two ends together and pull it up out of the way on the hose. Then it's just a simple matter of grabbing onto that hose and pulling it off of that valve. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is what we have to get out of there. Then it's just a simple matter of getting your 19 millimeter socket on it and take it right out of there. It shouldn't be in there very tight. Holy shit, it's in there tight. Okay, I grabbed a ratchet with a longer handle so I get more leverage on it. Make sure it's on there square. Oh, there, there she goes. Take it out by hand the rest of the way. And there it is. Now, I'll go pull the one out of the FJ. We have the four liter V6 and both our FJ and our Forerunner. They're 10 years apart, but basically they're the same engine. Older Tacomas also use the four liter V6. This one is a little bit easier to get to. I don't have to take off the heater hoses, although I did tie them back a little bit with some wire. Undo that spring clamp, pull that hose off. Put our socket on there, same size, 19 millimeter. And yeah, this one's coming out. Now Toyota recommends that you replace this every 35 to 60,000 miles, but like most people, including us, that never happens. And there's this one, that's a little cruddier. These little check valves have a ball inside of them. That way, air can come out through the valve, but it can't go into the engine through this valve. Over time, these get sludge built up inside and don't perform as well as they should. You can kind of tell that by shaking them and hearing that ball. Here's a new one, and here's the old one. You notice the difference? I do, it's probably a little bit hard to hear through this microphone, but there's definitely some sludge in here. Now the Forerunner here, this valve has 100,000 miles on it, and that's uh, synthetic oil changed religiously every 10,000 miles, but there's still some buildup in there. And this one is out of our FJ, and listen to it, compared to the new one. Old, new. Big difference there. Uh, the FJ has 250,000 miles on this one, and that's regular oil changed every 5,000 miles. But yeah, you can definitely tell, and you can tell just on the end here, where it's in the engine that there's a lot of crud in there. So yeah, these really should be replaced regularly. Now you could, 
take some brake clean or carb cleaner with a nozzle and shoot uh, some of that in here and probably clean it up pretty good. But these things are so cheap. Um, I think they're only like $15 a piece or so, $10 a piece. So we're just gonna put new ones in. Some symptoms of these going bad are a rough idle, sluggish performance, and increased oil consumption. Probably the worst thing that could happen is if one of these should happen to get plugged shut, pressure will build up inside the engine and it will push gaskets out, resulting in major oil leaks. The threads on the valve are tapered, so there's no need for any kind of sealant. We'll just start it by hand. Make sure you don't cross thread. And that goes in really nice and easy. Then we'll tighten it down. Now I don't know the torque that these are supposed to be set at, but uh, I'm just gonna go with good and snug. There we go. Then we'll put that hose back on, that little spring clamp down on it, and that's it. Oh, I have to put these back. There. Now we'll be doing a lot more of these simple maintenance videos in the near future. So be sure to subscribe, hit that bell to get notified when we upload a new video. And as always, thanks for watching.